So in this video, let's talk about ions and ion formation. One kind of ion is a cation. These are ions with a positive charge. Okay. Anions are ions with a negative charge. Cations come from metals, and what they do is they lose one or more electrons, and since electrons are negative, they become positive, and they lose as many electrons as they need to to get the same electron configuration as a noble gas. Anions, on the other hand, come from nonmetals, and they gain one or more electrons, so they become just like a noble gas. So if we look at the periodic table here, these in green, these are metals. Okay, so for instance, lithium here, if it loses one electron, it can become like helium, the same electron configuration. So every one in this column forms a one plus charge. Okay, and usually you just write that as plus as opposed to one plus. Beryllium needs to lose two electrons to become like neon. Okay, helium, sorry. Magnesium loses two to become like neon. So everybody in here forms a 2 plus charge. So all alkaline metals, when they form ions, are 1 plus. All alkaline earth metals are 2 plus. Our nonmetals are here in yellow. Okay. If you can see, fluorine just needs to gain one electron to be like neon. Chlorine needs to gain one, bromine. So all of these halogens form minus or one minus charges. Oxygen needs to gain two to be like neon. Sulfur gain two to be like argon. So all these guys form two minus. Nitrogen and phosphorus, three minus, and carbon, four minus. Now, all of these elements here that I haven't colored in, these are all your transition metals. And the weird thing about them is that they form more than one charge. So we don't have to memorize those charges, but it will change how we name them. So they all form, you know, plus or two plus or three plus or four plus, and most of them form more than one of those. And again, we won't memorize that, but we'll, it'll affect how we name them. There's three exceptions to that. These three guys, they only form one charge. So we'll talk about them in a second. So here's just kind of a summary of that. Your alkaline metals are plus one. Your alkaline earth metals are 2 plus, aluminum is 3 plus, and then you'll see 4 minus, 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus. So they can be like the noble gases right here. To name them, Na plus, it's pretty easy. It's called sodium ion. Okay, sodium becomes sodium ion. Calcium becomes calcium ion. Okay, so cations are very easy to name. It's just the name of the metal ion. But the transition metal cations, so tin, for instance, forms 2 plus and 4 plus. We can't call them both tin ion, or we wouldn't know which one we were talking about. So pretty simple solution. This one is going to be tin Roman numeral 2 ion. And this is going to be tin Roman numeral 4 ion. So the Roman numeral just represents the charge. So chromium if 2 plus and 3 plus would be chromium 2 ion, okay, and chromium 3 ion. So the trick isn't really, it's not that hard, you just have to remember to do it. Remember I told you there was about four of them that were exceptions? These are transition metals that only form one ion, so we do not use a Roman numeral. So instead of silver one ion, this is just silver ion. Okay. Instead of zinc two ion, it's just zinc ion. Okay. Cadmium ion. Now, unfortunately, that means you have to remember their charges. Aluminum ion. Okay. I know I'm scribbling a little bit, but. I think you can spell elements. And then anions, a little tiny bit harder. Um, they end in "-ide". So carbon, C is carbon, C4- is carbide. Okay, instead of carbon, it's carbide. Instead of nitrogen, 
it's nitride. Instead of phosphorus, it's phosphide. Okay. Can you figure out the rest? Oxygen, oxide. Sulfur, sulfide. Selenium, selenide. Okay. Fluoride, chloride, bromide, and iodide. Okay, so that's how we figure out what ions they form and how to name them. And then we'll see what to do with them next.